I wanna start this video off by first telling you that luck is not a strategy. Throwing something at the wall and hoping that it sticks is not marketing strategy. There are too many designers, there are too many marketers, there are too many funnel hackers that are basing their businesses around luck and no strategy. They're just shooting from the hip, they're copying other people's stuff, and that is not a process and a system. So today's video is super, super important because I'm gonna talk about the science of marketing. It's alive. There is a process and a way that things come together to actually become a reality and have success instead of just throwing things at the wall and hoping that they stick. So in this video, I want to teach you to have the most success in your marketing campaigns by developing a proven process, a scientific method that I've learned over the last 15 years from some of the best mentors in marketing in the world. And I'm going to share those with you in a video series. But first, I'm going to talk about what they are so you can start to get your head wrapped around them. And I can give you some context to what we're going to be talking about when it comes to the science of marketing. Marketing is more science than it is art. There is an artistic element and art to doing marketing, but it's science first. And since 2005, I've been absolutely obsessed with marketing and what works and what doesn't work. I've tried everything under the sun pretty much at this point. I've made a lot of videos on it. I'm writing a book about marketing. Like I live and breathe marketing. I live and breathe brands and marketing is the way that you build a brand. And so I had a mentor that gave me some of the best advice that he's ever given me in my entire life. And there's a story here that I want to tell you real quick, just a quick backstory going all the way back to about 2010. So in 2010, I went into the office where this mentor of mine was working. It was a client of mine. I used to go in four or five hours a week. I was working about 15 hours a week for this company as a consultant at the time doing marketing. I was doing SEO and pay-per-click and all that fun stuff. But I walked into the office after I had just designed a beautifully designed trifold brochure for a mattress company. And I walk up to the, to the mentor that I'm referring to, Mr. Bradford, I'll call him. And I handed it to him he said, wow, this is really nice, but what's the point? And I looked at him, I'm like, uh, what do you mean, what's the point? I thought in my head, like, how does he not understand this? Like, he's not a stupid guy. Like, what does he not get? Like, of course, the point is to freaking buy mattresses. And then he looks up at me and he says, where in this brochure does it say to buy a mattress? My heart sank. I was like, oh my gosh, he's right. There is nowhere in that brochure that actually talks about buying a mattress. So although I knew a lot of the tactics and how to do marketing from the tactical side and even from the design side and positioning things to look beautiful, I did not have any understanding of the root of marketing, which is the science of marketing, that foundation of what drives people to take an action? What creates that connection? Why do people buy? I had almost no foundation of that. I knew people, I'm really good with people, I listen, but I didn't have a foundational strategy or a method that I could apply to my business when it came to designing these marketing materials. It was in that moment where I realized and I had a big aha moment and I realized I had made a big mistake and I had missed the objective. All I had done is create a beautifully designed promotional branding piece and I didn't have a design or a, or a brochure that was actually gonna drive a massive amount of sales to this business. And that's what this business needed because they were a brand new business. So I was actually doing them an injustice by not understanding the foundational elements of having a marketing strategy, not just a beautifully designed marketing campaign. And so there is a revenue potential here if you do this thing right, to make millions and millions of dollars from marketing campaigns that are structured and formatted around the science of marketing. And so if you can apply these things today and you can learn and apply what I'm gonna show you, this is gonna help you increase your skills and increase your pricing as a designer. And that's ultimately my goal is I wanna give you more success and in turn, it's gonna give your clients more success and it's gonna impact communities, it's gonna impact cities, it's gonna impact towns and it'll hopefully impact the world. And that's what I'm all about is changing and impacting the world. So as you can probably tell already just by the intro of this video, we're going to be giving away some massive information over the coming weeks. We've already been giving massive information away. I think as of probably the time of this video, we're at the two year mark of this YouTube channel, we're close to it. Um, this last two years has been incredible. 
and I'm gonna be delivering so much value in this video specifically and over the next coming weeks, it would mean a lot to me and it would mean a lot to you, whether you know it or not, to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Because what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you more information like this that's gonna impact your life, impact your business, that's gonna really make a change in your career that you've really been wanting. And it's probably why you clicked on this video in the first place. So please don't be that guy, don't be that gal hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, show that you appreciate this valuable content and it'll encourage me to keep making it. And plus it shows YouTube that you like my content and it recommends it out to more people, which is huge for me. So that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the nitty gritty. So over the last 15 years through the mentorships, coaches, courses, training programs, all the people that I've hired, mastermind groups, everything, I've been able to develop and accumulate so much knowledge in the marketing strategy world that I've come up with five, yes, five, marketing methods that I use to help my clients. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five marketing methods. This is a foolproof plan. And this is the way that you can guarantee or almost guarantee, because there's really no guarantees in life other than death and taxes, but you can almost guarantee the success of these campaigns if you use these five methods. And you don't have to use all of them, but use the ones that work best for you, the ones that you like the most. But I'm going to share these five methods. And then in the future, in the coming videos, I'm going to start dropping out these methods in future videos dedicated videos for each one of these methods so you can learn them. But in the meantime, you can do a little bit of research on your own, kind of get a head start. And then as these videos start dropping, I'm going to make those super powerful. So let's get in to the five methods for marketing strategy and the science of marketing. So scientific marketing method number one is the IDA model. This is probably the most common, the most powerful, the most well-known awareness, interest, desire, action. That's what that stands for. I don't have time to go into it, but I am going to do a full video on it. But the IDA method is a proven scientific method and process that you can follow when it comes to creating these marketing campaigns. And it's something that every single business should have done and should be doing on a regular basis. This is something that you need to be teaching to your clients. It's a process you need to be taking your clients through. If you're not doing this, you're really only shortchanging them and you're not going to be able to get paid the money that you really deserve for the talent that you're bringing to the table. And so it's really important that you learn that method. The second scientific marketing method that I've developed, and this isn't my method, but these are methods that I've refined and made my own, is the SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis has also been around for a long time. It's very popular. It stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. There's some grids, there's some things you can look up online. My goal of this video is just to kind of give you a heads up and bring them on your radar. And then as these videos start to drop that I'm putting out on these specific topics, I'm gonna to really anchor and give you a depth of knowledge that you really need to apply these things to your business. So that's gonna be super helpful for you. Scientific marketing method number three, number trace is the four P's of marketing. This one's also popular, been around a long time, and I can't wait to dive into that one with you, but it's place, process, price, and product. Those are the things that I wanna make sure that you understand. I wanna make sure you understand that method because it's an important method, and without going too deep into it, it's something that I've been using for years. It also has some iterations on top of that, but this is another scientific method that you can apply to your marketing strategies and kind of wrapping everything you're doing around those four Ps. Scientific marketing method number four. This is a big one. I get to take a little bit more credit for this one because this is something that I've developed through mentorship and through some different coaches. In fact, that first mentor that I mentioned, he's the one that shared this process with me and I've evolved it and developed it really into my own method, but I call it the EPL method. I'm gonna leave that a little secret right now. I'm not gonna tell you what that stands for because there's gonna be a very, very powerful video around that. If you know what I'm talking about, EPL, uh, it goes back to Aristotle, um, all the different you know thought, thought leaders of the original modern world, these guys develop these strategies and I'm bringing this into the new age of 2021, 2022, and I'm gonna teach you my EPL method. It's one of the scientific methods that I've been using in my business probably the longest, and it's really given me kind of that, that edge against all my competitors because nobody else is using this process, uh, especially since my mentor of 35 years, he's been doing marketing, uh, is the one that shared this strategy for me and I made it even better. So the fifth scientific marketing method cuts back and ties back to number four or to number three, which is the four P's. But this one is the seven P's of marketing. This is the expanded version. I'm going to do a full training on this. All five of these strategies, I'm doing a full training on. If that wasn't clear already, you're going to get a full training of all these methods that you can apply to your business, apply to your clients' businesses. It's going to give them way more success. And you want to know that you're going to have a certain level 
of accuracy and a certain level, certain percentage chance of success if you're putting your reputation and your name as a marketer, as a designer, as a creative on the line for your clients, you need to know that you're not gonna just gonna throw something in the wall and hope. You need to know that it's going to work and doing these methods in advance and doing that foundational work for them is gonna give you that higher chance of success and that's what's gonna separate you from a lot of your competitors. So I'm curious, do you have a current marketing method? Maybe you're, you're using one of those five marketing methods now, the scientific processes if you are, congratulations, big thumbs up to you, because that's a big deal. Most people don't take the time to learn those or invest into those or apply those even more importantly to their businesses or their clients' businesses. So if you do, if you are using those, drop it down in the comment, which one of these five are you using? Maybe you're using something else. I love information. The more you wanna share, the more I can use that to share with other people. So I would love to know what marketing method are you using now? Are you just shooting from the hip and hoping that it sticks? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. Introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from as well. I want to know where everybody's from and I'd love to hear from you. So with that all being said, I want to wrap this up because I got something super important to kind of share on the science of marketing. So if you're creative and you're designing literally any kind of marketing collateral, whether it's a logo, a brand, a website, funnels, uh, landing pages, brochures, yard signs, vehicle wraps. It doesn't matter what you're creating, motion graphics, videos. You have to have a marketing strategy and an objective. What is the goal? For most companies, it's not branding. Branding is secondary. Branding is something that you do up front to make sure that you have a clean, clear, concise brand. But in terms of marketing your business on a regular basis, you're not just putting your logo out there. You need to share a specific message with some sort of call to action and get a specific outcome. The outcome for you should hopefully be an ROI. So getting an ROI is super, super key. And the way that you're gonna be able to guarantee that or almost guarantee that for your clients is by applying one of these methods. Now, I get paid a lot of money from clients to teach them these methods. Just like I'm gonna be teaching you guys here for free, I get paid. And just to kind of put it into perspective, when I walk my clients through the consulting phase of my business and I take them through these methods and I teach them how to apply them to their businesses, their day-to-day, -day, whether it's a home improvement company, a solar company, uh, a senior care facility, a local mom and pop business, when I do that, I charge over $1,500 an hour to teach them this stuff. So this knowledge that I'm sharing with you is worth a lot of money. And so that's why I'm asking just the least you could do for me in return is to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button and introduce yourself. That's all I'm asking for. I don't want money from you. I'm not asking you to buy anything from me. I haven't put out any courses. All I'm asking for is a like and a subscribe because the stuff that I'm sharing is worth a ton of money and it's gonna really impact you. And you wanna know when I start posting these, these scientific method videos, right? You're gonna wanna know when I put the AIDA, the SWAT, the EPL, the four spokes of marketing and the seven spokes of marketing, right? You're gonna need to know this stuff. So the only way you can do that is if you're subscribed because then you'll get the notifications. So I really wanna share that with you. I feel like that's really, really important, the context of this video. The thing that really bugs me and it gets under my skin and I see this every day and that's why I decided to make this series is I see people creating marketing pieces and they miss the mark nine out of 10 times. It's probably more like 99 out of 100 times. They create these great, beautifully designed websites or landing pages or brochures or flyers and there's like no point to it. It may look nice, but there's literally no object. It doesn't drive me to take any kind of action. It doesn't connect with me. It just goes right in the trash. I see this constantly, sites that don't perform and then people blame the designer or they blame the product and they start focusing on all the other things when it was the marketing piece that lacked and actually moving people to take an action. And that is the goal of a good marketing piece is connecting to who you are and to who they are and making those core values stick to each other because you're going to, you're, what you believe is going to attract other people that believe what you believe. So that's an important piece of this that I wanted to share with you. But the science of marketing is key. It's what separates me. It's what can separate you. And I want you to take some action on that. So stay tuned for our videos coming up and make sure that if you haven't joined the Instagraphics Pro Network already and you're a designer, make sure you do that today. There's a link down in the description. Fill out all the information 100% or I can't let you in. We're doing amazing things, trainings, summits, webinars. We're coming together. We're lifting each other up. We're even praying for each other in there. Uh, you don't have to be a part of that if you don't want to, but it's an important piece of building a community and building a tribe. We've got almost 400 people. I've turned down over 200. So I would love to have you in there. This is my personal invite from me to you. Yes, you that's watching me right now. I would love to have you. So if you want to do that, I'll see you in there and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.